What's up geeks and welcome back to iGeeks Blog. So are you also tired of juggling screens between Mac and iPhone? Well fret no more because the latest beta of iOS 18 and macOS Sequoia gives you a brand new feature called iPhone mirroring. This lets you see your entire iPhone screen and not only that you can interact with it as well using mouse, keyboard and trackpad. So it is pretty cool right then in today's video let me tell you how you can use this feature. So before we dive in, let's make sure that your devices are compatible. You will require an iPhone running iOS 18 beta 2. So this is the developer release, not a public one. So keep this in mind. Second, you will require a Mac running macOS Sequoia beta 2. Again, a developer beta, not a public one. Third, you need to make sure that your both devices needs to run on the same Apple ID, which has to be two-factor authenticated. And lastly, make sure that Bluetooth and Wi-Fi should be enabled on both devices and both devices should be relatively close. All right, with the requirements out of our way, now let's start mirroring. So first and foremost, you need to make sure that your iPhone and Mac should be running on the beta software that is Mac OS Sequoia Beta 2 and of course iOS 18 Beta 2. Now we need to make sure that your iPhone is connected with your Mac. For that, you need to go into the settings of your iPhone, General, AirPlay and Continuity and in iPhone mirroring section, make sure it shows your Mac's name. So once the connection is established, now let's start using this feature. So on your Mac, you need to open Finder and go into Application Folder and over there you will find iPhone mirroring app. Click on that and once done, your iPhone's display will magically appear on your Mac screen. And now you want to switch back to your old iPhone view? Well, no problem. Here's how you can do that. Simply unlock your iPhone. Yep, that's it. As soon as you unlock and start using your iPhone, the mirroring on your Mac will stop. Alternatively, you can also close the iPhone mirroring app on your Mac. Well, now let's talk about what if iPhone mirroring is not working for you. There are a few reasons why iPhone mirroring might not be working and first is compatibility. Double check that you are using the beta 2 versions of macOS Sequoia and iOS 18. Second, connection. Make sure that your iPhone and Mac are on the same Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is toggled on. And third, Authentication. If you haven't approved Authenticate automatically, then each and every time you might need to unlock your phone and grant permission to mirror your screen on Mac. Now let's talk about what you can do while iPhone is mirrored on your Mac. First and foremost thing is, of course, you can access apps and run them from your Mac on your iPhone. And not only that, you can also access quick options of apps by just clicking and holding onto it. Lastly, you can also hide and lock apps directly from your Mac on your iPhone using this iPhone mirroring feature. Well, that being said, now let's talk about what things are not working. First is that you cannot customize home screen from iPhone mirroring as rearranging icons option is not available. While using iPhone mirroring, you cannot access lock screen. That means you cannot customize it as well and no notification center. As far as calling option goes, you cannot decline and pick a call while iPhone mirroring is on. And not only that, even you cannot make a call from your Mac through your iPhone if you want to. And lastly, navigation is half-baked. You cannot swipe down to open control center and similar story with lock screen as well. Similarly, in fact, you cannot even swipe up to minimize apps. While on home screen, you can swipe down on your trackpad to launch search while iPhone mirroring is on. This is the only swipe gesture which is working for now. So as I've already mentioned that navigation is half-baked in iPhone mirroring feature, thus is the reason we get two dedicated buttons. First is of course of home screen, Pressing on which will directly land you on your iPhone's home screen. Alternatively, you can also just press the home bar at the bottom and the similar function will occur. But to access recent apps, you will require this button. Otherwise, there is no way you can access recent apps on your iPhone while it is mirrored on your Mac. Well, that's all guys. Now I think you know how to use iPhone mirroring on iOS 18 and on Mac OS Sequoia. This is one fantastic feature which lets you leverage the power of your Mac for all your iPhone needs. Do let me know in the comment section how did you find this feature and while you are down there and if this video helped you out make sure to press the like button and let youtube know that we are doing some good work and of course subscribe to the channel press the bell icon so that you get notified on each and every video we post and meanwhile you can go to the app store download iGeeks blog app and enjoy everything apple content as well on this note this is Samir signing off and i will see you in the next one till then data see you bye